Hey everyone and happy Good Friday to you. So I am going to chat with you about um, some great oils that you can use around your house. So it's springtime and when I think of spring I often think of fresh starts and new beginnings but I also think of spring cleaning and detox. And so today I'm going to talk about how you can use essential oils to clean your house and detoxify your home. And it's kind of funny because if you if you know me, then this topic is not something you would expect me to talk about because I don't like to clean. <laughs> but when it comes to cleaning the house with essential oils, it's super, super easy to make your own non-toxic cleaner and get rid of all those toxic chemicals that you use to clean your house with. You know, an interesting statistic that you might not be aware of is the air inside the average home is 70% more toxic than the air outside. That is alarming and quite scary, actually. Um, and so a lot of that has to do with what, what are you using in your home on a daily basis? And what sort of cleaners are you using to clean your house with? And even if you're buying commercial cleaners and um, Obviously, you might not be using them every day, but even storing them in a cabinet, um, those chemicals still leach out into the air. And so, such an easy change that you can make in your home is switching out those toxic cleaning solutions for non-toxic alternatives. And it can be very easy and actually save you a ton of money in the process. So. I don't do a ton of DIY stuff. Um, if it requires multiple steps and multiple ingredients, I'm probably not gonna do it. But if it's easy and it saves me money um, and it's a cleaner alternative, then count me in. And so when it comes to making your own household cleaner, this is one of the easiest things that you can do. Okay, so I buy these glass spray bottles. You can find them online at Amazon or aromatools.com. Um, they're super cheap and um, and I like using glass especially if I'm going to use citrus oils because those citrus oils will uh, leach toxins out of plastic so I prefer not to use a plastic spray bottle so um, so glass spray bottle um, water which is pretty easy um, and your essential oils and you can also if you if you want to you can add a little bit of distilled white vinegar to the mix as well but you don't have to okay so what I do is I've, I fill this up with water okay and then I add my oil so you can add there's several oils that are really good for cleaning detoxifying disinfecting your house my favorite is on guard so on guard is our protective blend and it has powerful antimicrobial properties so it's a great disinfectant it smells amazing I love the smell of it so it's it's kind of my go-to oil when um, I um, I make my household cleaner because I love the way it smells but it has oils like wild orange and um, cinnamon and clove and rosemary and eucalyptus and so it smells amazing but these oils are powerful in getting rid of germs and pathogens and so I'll fill this with water add a few drops of on guard to it and you can literally add as few as five drops of your oil and have an effective household cleaner in fact there was um, a study done and it was presented at our convention last year by the researcher and she did a study in using on guard as a household cleaning agent and she used a really big spray bottle it was at least twice the size of this one um, but maybe even bigger and she used nothing but water and five drops of on guard in the entire bottle and they had sprayed down or um, covered a counter with you know pathogenic bacteria um, and then sprayed it down with the on guard solution and tested it over a period of days because a lot of times you may clean off that bacteria but um, enough is left to where it will grow back over a period of days and in this case the cleaning solution 
completely got rid of the bacteria and it did not come back. And so that just reassured me that the cleaning, the cleaning solution I'm using in my home is incredibly effective. So, um, so you can add as little as five drops. If you want to add more, 10, 20, 50, you know, 10, 15, something like that is totally fine. I love On Guard. Other oils that are wonderful for cleaning your home are citrus oils, okay? So citrus oils have a lot of disinfecting properties as well and detoxifying and cleansing properties. So lemon is fantastic. Wild orange is another favorite of mine um, because I love the way it smells. But lime and grapefruit, all of the citrus oils are gonna be wonderful oils to use as well. And you can even combine oils if you like. You could use lemon and wild orange together or you could add um, a little wild orange or lemon to the on guard if you want to smell those citrus oils a little more. So get creative, have fun with it. Um, if you do decide you want to add some white vinegar to your mix, what I do, if I add the white vinegar, I'll fill, I'll fill my spray bottle about three-fourths of the way full with water and then do um, a fourth of it with the white vinegar and then just we'll see. Hopefully, okay, I think I'm back now. So hopefully that hopefully that came through. So again, if you if you do the vinegar, do um, three fourths water, one quarter vinegar, and your oils. Okay, and that's it. And you can just spray down your countertops. Um, I use this all the time after I cook. Um, I, we cook a lot in our home, and so I'll clean off my countertops after cooking dinner or whatever with this solution. Um, you can clean your bathroom with it. Uh, we do have, you know, if you're someone that has someone come and clean your house, um, like we, we do that. We have someone that comes and cleans our house once a month and um, they use our cleaning solutions because I don't want any toxic chemicals. Um, I, want to, I want to eliminate that as much as possible. So she uses this as well and I think she really likes it. So, um, so yeah, so fun, fun ways that you can use essential oils to clean your home, detoxify your home, and of course you can always diffuse these oils in your home to really help cleanse, purify, and detoxify the air in your home. So hope this helps. Hope y'all have a wonderful Easter weekend and um, we'll chat again soon. Bye.